asthma was on the list of risk factors for COVID. You'll remember that. And then doctors came out and they said they felt like asthma kind of disappeared. Patients started feeling better in the middle of the pandemic. Certainly not what they were expecting. Anusha Roy looks at why. Respiratory viruses and people living with asthma are not a great combination. So when COVID came around, doctors were worried and braced for problems. The bottom fell out in a way. We were super busy and then the closure happened and then suddenly we weren't very busy and that lasted for several weeks. It was very odd. That's because the unexpected happened, according to Dr. Mark Anderson, a pediatrician at Denver Health. On the provider side, it felt like asthma did disappear, um, really because it did. It's not just anecdotal. UC Health was involved in a national study. There was about a 40% decrease in their exacerbation rate. That means there was a big drop in emergency room visits, hospitalizations, and the need for steroids to help people with asthma breathe easier. We need to think clearly about, um, you know, the role that um, viral infections may play. We talked to several doctors who saw a drop in the number of people sick with the cold and the flu, the kinds of things that can trigger asthma. They also said precautions like masks and social distancing helped ward off more viruses than just COVID. Viruses for so many people, they may not have realized it was as big of a trigger as it was. The number of kids that we saw hospitalized for asthma attacks due to viral illnesses really, really dropped. The study was a unique look at how mask wearing and social distancing impacted something other other than COVID. Very concerned that we would see a significant increase in asthma exacerbations with the virus. The COVID virus would actually cause flares of asthma. And when we didn't see that, we were surprised. So the whole thing is actually kind of ironic that during a pandemic caused by a respiratory virus that some people's breathing problems actually became better. One thing to consider, though, is we've talked about this before. People didn't want to go to the doctor worried about getting COVID. But this study actually enrolled the last patient right before the pandemic hit, and then they were able to remotely stay in contact with them and then saw that a lot of people were feeling better throughout the pandemic. Kyle, the whole thing has ultimately helped people understand what their triggers are are, along with allergies and smoke and honestly, whatever they're breathing in at home versus work as well, if they're still sick. Yeah, when you talk about those those triggers, I think about all the wildfire smoke mm -hmm. in the air through the summer. Last year, we saw that clear into the fall. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, when we were talking to the doctors, they were saying, yeah, OK, so over the last couple of months into the pandemic, we saw things change. But now not only with wildfires, but you see the rules loosening up kids at summer camp and the viruses that doctors, particularly pediatricians typically see in the fall and the winter. They're now surfacing right now, which is really unusual for them. And that means they're starting to see more kids and more people come into their emergency rooms as well. Yeah, this is kind of an aside, but it's like a parent of young kids. Like I know my kids yeah. didn't really get sick with anything during the pandemic, and now we expect them to get a lot of stuff. It's like all of our yeah. like illness schedules have kind of gotten scrambled around. So it makes sense yeah. that things are going to be new and different. Anusha, thank you. Really interesting stuff.